stunning new details about the death of comedian Joan Rivers at a New York surgical center. A scathing report reveals medical mistakes and unprofessional conduct, including a doctor who took a selfie with Rivers before she stopped breathing. KCAL 9's Lori Perez is live in the Satellite Center with more on that report. Lori. Elsa, the report from the Department of Health and Human Services claims doctors made a whole list of mistakes both before and as Joan Rivers started to have serious problems. Joan Rivers went to a Manhattan Surgical Center for a routine vocal cord procedure, but a federal report released Monday claims doctors did more than that, putting tubes in her nose without her informed consent. It also found it's unclear how much of the sedative propofol Rivers received, and that physicians in charge of the care of the patient failed to identify deteriorating vital signs and provide timely intervention. She went into respiratory distress and cardiac arrest. As damning as all that sounds, attorney Steve Meister says, unless there's a history of gross negligence, criminal charges are unlikely. Based on the report, there were medical errors that were made, but medical errors happen all the time and things are accidents, and that's why they're not necessarily crimes. There will, however, likely be, he says, a medical malpractice suit. Of all the findings, he says, evidence that a staffer proceeded to take pictures of the surgeon and the patient with his cell phone could be the most damaging piece. Amid all the medical testimony and all the big fancy Latin words, it would be something for a jury to really hang on to as to how this patient was or was not treated with dignity and with care. Attorneys for Joan Rivers' daughter Melissa released a statement today saying she is outraged by what she calls the misconduct and mismanagement. We are live in the Satellite Center. I'm Lori Perez, KCAL 9 News. Okay, Lori, thank you so much for that.